Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing Panbook 56 in the three minute pool on ICC. And Panbook is playing the Leningrad Dutch. So I'll respond with a double Fianchetto system. I was actually meaning to play the Staunton Gambit this time around, which is e4 on move two, but I forgot. So, looks like he's not perturbed by my adoption of this setup. The plan is to play for e4. That's what I want to do. He might send his knight into b4 to attack my queen and also attack a2. Uh, here he's allowing me to play e4. Do I want to do it? Yeah, I don't see why not. After capturing, he can play bishop f5, but I have knight h4. So, tactically I don't see anything wrong with this. Um, after this I can take with the queen because if he takes on a2, e7 hangs. I think e7 would be more important than my a2 pawn. I get the feeling. He can almost play bishop f5, uh, and then queen takes, and then try to get the bishop into d3, but it doesn't work. So what's going to happen after this? This could be interesting. So I love my rook on the 7th rank, but he's kicking it out now. So he's not going to tolerate it for very long. Hmm. Maybe rook e2, or rook e3. Let's go rook e3. I kind of wanted on e2 just to monitor the c2 square. But we'll have to make do with this for now. Let's just play h3. Bishop d7, yep. Maybe well, rook a1, he has knight c2. Yeah, this knight could prove to be um, more hassle than I would like. I need an effective plan. Bishop c3, just trying to destroy the knight. Seems too simplistic. Um, rook d1. Rook d1 to d2. Let's do that. Uh, that doesn't do much either. Okay, I'm going to play g4. I've decided. Not entirely sure what he's planning to do. I guess a4 is his point. Hmm. Let's go rook c1. Well, I was thinking of a4, I might have bishop a3, but now I'm noticing he has knight a2 in that case. That leads to a weird position. His knight might end up trapped, though. Let's do it. Let's call his bluff. Let's see if it really is a bluff. Knight a2, rook a1. a takes b3, rook takes b3. I'm defending the bishop. His knight is still in trouble. c5, okay. Uh, let's take first, and then reassess. Let's take here. And then take here, and then I'm thinking knight e5. Although knight e5, you might have bishop g5. So I better go here first. Ah, but he's going to get his bishop into c3. It's trouble. Okay, let's go g5. If I had to sack an exchange on c3, so be it. I'm worried about trying to tolerate that bishop for too long, though. Yeah, and he's going for um, my knight. Okay, let's go h4. Hmm. I'm trying to bring my king up to g3 to assist. That's a good move, though. Okay, let's go here. He may win a pawn, though. Let's go here. Attack b7. Now knight f6 is possible. Check. Guess I'll go here. Check. Time warning. Yeah, he does have that move. Huh. Yeah, f4 didn't do anything. Hmm. Well, now he can simply take on e5 and win that 
subsequent position. Check. Yeah. Check. Yeah, my my games have been really lackluster in the three minute pool lately. Check. Just not good. Just in, in the blitz pool in general. Check. They haven't been good. Yeah, I'm just gonna resign. This is lost. Um. Huh. I thought that the e7 pawn would be more important than a2, but I guess not. Bishop f6 was good, kicking my rook out of the back rank. Let's have a look. Yeah, I meant to play the Staunton Gambit because I was just talking with a student about this. e4 on move 2, but didn't uh, remember to do it. All of these moves are, are standard. <coughs> Now queen c2 trying to go e4. So rook a e1, he plays rook b8. Now e4. It's possible e4 is premature. I mean, maybe I should wait one move before playing that. Like maybe bishop c3, just do i the b4 square, or even a3. Let's just see. Computer approves of a3, keeping the knight out of b4. Yeah, e4, huh, was not advised, at least right now. So e4, knight b4, queen b1. Still, though, I shouldn't be worse here, or at least that much worse. Bishop f6, no, he's playing good moves, though. Yeah, here was a dilemma, because e2 might be good in the sense that when his knight comes back to b4, I guard the c2 square. But... <laughs> I didn't want to allow him bishop g4, pinning my knight. That was always in the back of my head. So I wasn't sure where to put the rook, e3 or e2. I think I made the wrong call. Hmm. This position is awkward to play. Mainly because I have trouble putting this rook on a good square. Like e1 and a1, two active squares. a1 attacking the a pawn, e1 trying to use the e file. Both run into knight c2. So I can't coordinate properly. Yeah, c5 is a good move. He played well. Now I'm a lot worse. Bishop c3, and I try to sack the exchange, but it looks like he did a good job of denying me any play. Did I have any chances after this? Yeah, even rook a4 was good. I was hoping he'd play like rook af8 so I could get my king up to g3. More chances this way. But he went right for the jugular. That weak c4 pawn. Yeah, and now just some desperate counterattacks for me that don't don't really work. He navigated all the traps. Like one trap, of course, is if he takes on c4, uh, let's say with that rook, then I have knight f6 check. And even even like this move gives me some chances with knight f6 to come. If I can make my knight and rook cooperate. There's some moderate chances of saving the position, but he didn't allow any Check. of that. Check. Hmm. So, mistimed pawn break, that e4 move. If we go forward a little bit. Um, yeah. Right here. So, e4 was just unfortunately timed. Should have invested one tempo to play a3, or maybe bishop c3. I kind of like bishop c3 too. Although that allows b5. I suppose that is the point of rook b8. He's trying to gear up for b5. But if a3, b5, I could take and... Well, he could take with a b-pawn, actually. His knight is protecting his queen. Maybe do as the engine suggests. Just give up on the idea of e4 and switch back to like pressuring the c-file. Rook c1, or switch over to pressuring it. I guess I was never pressuring the c-file. Hmm, alright. Well, I'm going to make it my goal the rest of this week. I really got to do better in these blitz games, because I've been slipping on them lately. Like, bullet has been going fine. <laughs> Not that I care about bullet that much, but my standard games have been generally okay. But blitz, I'm getting kind of killed in this category. Maybe I'll go back to some five-minute games, and... Just try to give myself enough time on the clock and try to focus on playing better chess. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll be back tomorrow with another Blitz video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.